All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for tuning in. So I've been waiting a very, very long time to get one of these and we finally got one. So what we have here is a rear diffuser from Aeroflow Dynamics. And this is the version six, not to be confused with the version seven. I'll go into detail in a little bit, but the reason why it took so long to get one of these is because I wasn't sure how aggressive I wanted the rear to be. So just from doing research and um, looking at a bunch of other companies, I found that this is probably the one that I like the most. Aesthetically, it's not too aggressive and it's pretty lightweight and it's just very subtle. I like everything to be subtle. They had a couple of options to choose from. They had matte black, and this was obviously the gloss black, uh, which I think looks a lot better. And this is actually the second diffuser that they sent. Uh, the first one was damaged in the corner to where I couldn't bend it back, otherwise I'd have no problem doing that, but they made it super easy to get a new one. I showed them some pictures, and then pretty soon I had a tracking number, and then all I had to do was send this one back in the box that it came in. Huge shout out to Aeroflow Dynamics for that, I really appreciate it. And back to what I was saying about the V6 and the V7, uh, the only difference is with the V7 compared to the V6, which is this one, is the V7 goes straight up. This one is kind of angled, so when you install it on the car, it's uh, angled down that way towards the inside, which I thought looked really cool. The other reason I like this one so much is because it's just one piece that goes straight in between the exhaust pipes. I have rear spats on the car and I thought that adding another diffuser on there or winglets would be a little too much. So this one is perfect for what I need it for. And the install should be pretty straightforward. You have two sets of brackets. You have the longer ones and then you have the shorter ones right here. And I think my kit was actually missing a bolt and washer uh, for this side, but luckily I had a couple laying around. Unfortunately, it's not an actual bolt. It's like a thick screw. I'm not gonna let those stop us from installing this because I wanna get this on the car as soon as possible. So yeah, I'm gonna try to get as detailed as I can on this install just because I haven't seen very many detailed videos on this. And there will be a few little things that you should be on the lookout for, even though it's very basic, but I'll explain all of that when we install it. And you just need some very basic tools for this install. You need uh, an 11 millimeter wrench and saw it and um, I guess a Phillips screwdriver for this uh, just because I don't have the bolts for this but yeah let's go ahead and get started all right so I'm not gonna do any video cuts on this just so I can show you guys exactly where the mounting holes are and so let's just go slowly under the car so I'm on the passenger side and then just over here near the exhaust uh, you have this hole right here so above this tab which we'll be using this later there's that hole right there and that's where the long bracket mounts onto so let's go ahead and get that put on there all right guys so like I mentioned first hole is right there and what you want to do is you take your bracket and if you ever get confused on which side goes where just remember that the bracket is supposed to be facing towards the front of the car and also the side that goes on this is the non-threaded side. So this side is threaded. This is where the actual diffuser mounts into, but for the top, it's just a, a hole right there and you can slip this through, straight through actually. And then this is the order of it. You have your bolt and then you have that little washer that compresses, I can't remember the name of it right now. And then the bigger washer. Just like that, and you wanna slip it on like that, on the bracket, and simply just mount it on there. And then on the other side, you wanna get your washer and the other nut to hold it in place. So let's go ahead and do that. And then you just wanna make sure it's as leveled as possible before you tighten it down. And again, I'm using an 11 millimeter socket. And you wanna tighten it a decent amount just because there's gonna be some weight on there from the diffuser. So yeah, once that's done, let's go ahead and install the uh, shorter bracket. But to avoid any confusion, uh, here's what it looks like so far for the first bracket. There we go facing towards the front of the car. And then this is how I mounted it. You can see right there is the nut on this side. Yeah, super easy. So let's 
move on to the next step. All right, so you wanna start off by removing this push clip right here. Again, take the shorter bracket and then remember to use the unthreaded side and then mount it like this. You just wanna stick it straight through both plastic tabs and the metal one right behind it. Then you get your washer and the other nut and simply secure it from the other side. All right, then you just wanna tighten that down. This is what it should look like once you get both of the brackets installed. Again, they're both facing the front of the car and uh, these two are the threaded sides of the brackets. So we're gonna go ahead and do the same for the other side and then uh, we'll get the diffuser installed. So now that I got all four brackets secured and lined up, it is now time to install the actual diffuser. guys I just finished mounting this thing and it looks amazing it doesn't stick out like crazy and it's just nice and subtle and here's what I was talking about with the spats I just thought it would have looked weird if I added some winglets right here especially because these are matte and that one's gloss so I didn't want to do too much on the sides that's why I just kept it at the middle like this but yeah it looks really good I can't wait to drop the car down and uh, just look at it so just a quick recap, I wanna avoid as much confusion as possible. So let's go under here. I'm under the car and remember that the bottom holes are the ones that are threaded so that you can thread your bolts through. It's literally one, two, three, four bolts holding in the rear diffuser and it looks really good and it's pretty secure on there it wobbles a little bit but uh, not too much to where it's obvious but yeah let's go ahead and drop the car down and then let's look at this thing outside let me try to get a good look at it right here here we go Yeah, it just completes the uh, rear end of the car. Nice. All right, guys, so that about completes the install for the Aeroflow Dynamics V6 rear diffuser for the 2015 Plus Subaru WRX and STI. And again, I'm super happy with the way it looks and I love how flush it is. It's just nice and subtle. It just flows with the back bumper line and then it goes in like that and it gives the rear a little more character. But yeah, let me know what you guys think should be next on the car. We already have the full lip kit, the front lips, side skirts, and spats. That's what a full lip kit is. Got the rear spoiler and uh, now we have the rear diffuser. So I just like the way it is right now. It's not overly aggressive and I got the roof basket on there just in case uh, we get a power outage. Like what happened earlier this year, we were out of power for eight days. So in case we need to ditch the house, I wanna be able to throw everything on the roof as well as the trunk obviously. And then uh, yeah, get out of here if we need to. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and close out this video. Let me know if you guys have any questions on the diffuser. Like I said, this is a super easy install, so you shouldn't have a hard time installing it at all. Thank you guys for always supporting the channel. Check out my other videos, subscribe to the channel, like the video. Again, I really, really appreciate it, you guys. That's about it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.